You're listening to Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. What's up, y'all? It is time for another episode of Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. I am your host. And my name is Kel Trufant. What's up? How are you guys doing? It's sunny. What's up? What's up? So uh, today I don't have an email, but what I have is golf course talk. And what that is, is I got a round in uh, the other day with a couple homeboys. And my guy was like, hey, man, you guys talk about this on your podcast. And I'm like, well, what is it? And because I don't think his girl listens, his wife listens, but he was like, he feels (gasps) like. I know, right? (laughs) He says that he feels like (laughs) his wife is weaponizing sex. And so I'm like, well, like, I'm like, what do you mean? I'm about to tee off. And I'm like, wait, I stop. And I'm like, wait, what do you mean? He goes, well, he goes, I've just noticed um, more recent in our relationship when we get into an argument or she doesn't get her way, she withholds sex. And I'm like, really? He's like, (sighs) yeah, like, but. I guess it's not, it's something that he usually wouldn't have complained about, but I guess it's happening more frequently that like, he's like, notice it now that he's like, okay, like I, I know what the fuck is going on here. Um, so his question is just kind of like, you know, how, how does he, <laughs> how does he approach her with it and how does he approach her about it and her not hit him with the oh, you're tripping or you're thinking too much into it when this is something that he clearly sees, like he sees it happening and and, and sees the pattern of this happening. What do you, what is you guys' take on it? You want me to jump into this one first, Jessica, or? I mean, we got to control something. Okay, let's let's not go with the society and the women and all we got is our vag and so we got to hold on to that. Right? There is a lot of power down That's there. That's true. Power a lot. to you. So Jay Z and Robert right, said that a yep. long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's take a deep internal dive. What is he doing? Think about that. That's fair. Why but, is she withholding? Or weaponizing or whatever. What have you done? Fix it. What I would say, yeah. So does she, and we don't have your homeboy here to ask him, but does she usually still get down if she is upset or if there's um, an argument? Does she usually come back around and they usually make up, et cetera, et cetera? But it may be up to him, yeah, to, to... push a little bit, see if he can clean that up, maybe give her some calm words, uh, make her some food, give her a nice little massage, uh, put the kids to bed and make sure she's at ease for that night. And you know what time it is and you just know you got to fix it sometimes. Sometimes you may feel like she's um, not listening or she's out of pocket or she's mad for no reason, but Hey, you got to find a way, man, especially if you're trying to get it or you could just say, all right, I'm going to stay on my ground and then you got to deal with the consequences. He is speaking from pure experience. <laughs> right. I was now. about to say <laughs> you are speaking your truth right now. And you Definitely. just outed me. I was about to say, man, I heard that from a friend. But uh-uh, uh-uh. He's speaking his reality. Facts is facts. Definitely. And I mean, it's not the same for everybody, though. But like I said, you got to be in a place to sometimes step outside of yourself. The women uh, are from Mars or men are from Earth or whatever the hell we say, right? We're in. in, Have you ever read the book? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've seen the book, never actually read it, though, and I've heard of it, right? But I know enough to understand that men and women, in most cases, see the world different. We see arguments different. We see um, everything different, right? So when these altercations take place and then if if sex is the end goal or getting close with your lady is the end goal and there's these two different um, planes here, you got to find a way to bridge that gap and then bring it together, right? Yeah, so, yeah, so you got to find a way. And even if you don't want to do it, fake it till you make it, right? 
well, you know, well, women one do thing it. he did say though that I that did stick with me was, well, when we do have sex or she finally comes around, it almost feels like it's a goddamn holiday. So like it it, it shouldn't shouldn't be like that. Right. And the fact that we've discussed on this podcast before how men need sex in a negative way, Kel. I, I don't mean to interrupt, but like a, it's a holiday. Yeah, it's like, Is that shit, a good we're thing? We're finally or? doing it. Like, it's like, ooh, oh, here we yeah, go. Here like, we I've go. been waiting yes. weeks, months for this. Okay. But well, that poses a different issue when it becomes a holiday or a rare occasion or it's celebratory. <laughs> when you guys sleep together. So I don't think that's a bad thing. Why is that a bad thing? Well, it, okay. If you have to celebrate, uh, celebrate all victories. I just I talked about say, this I, on my, you probably celebrate every time, but I just talked about this on my, um, social media, man. I do this thing and I like talk to the people and about being positive and all this. So we got to celebrate all victories. So if you ain't getting it from your girl, and you guys are going through a thing and you guys finally come back together. That's why a victory? Why is that not a celebration? Well, why my can't thing we... is if it's happening, like Kel said, if it's happening often, or what's the frequent like what is the duration in between time? These things are you need to know these things because if he's talking about it's a celebration, what is it? Three weeks, a month? Three weeks is too long. Three weeks is too if long. If you could see me put my hand into Three his face. Three weeks is too long. Um, but that's what I'm saying. If he's like... For most. Right on. Yes. In the corner. Like, uh-oh. He's excited. He should be excited about being with his woman. And maybe that's what they do. Maybe that's their ratio. You know, three weeks. I'm not here to judge. He's um, complaining. Kel, what's... Do you know the duration between... There was an like, argument. There was an argument... And he complained because he wanted it that night is what I got from the story. And it didn't happen. So maybe three weeks did pass, which is, in my humble opinion, is too long. To but me, my man, to each it, his own. I, I'm not trying to put their business out there like that. But it sounds like they might be having sex maybe twice a month. Okay. All right. That's every other week. Um, let's be real here. Like, let's be real here, Jess. Like. All, all of us, uh, uh, people that are, that are, uh, right, like, <laughs> right, we're active? having sex <laughs> two, maybe three times a week on the, on the low end. Well, right. right. On, on the, the low yeah. end. Right. So twice a month. If it does not work for, if that is like something that he wants to change, you got to talk about it. You got to talk about it. Because, like I said, there is a lot of energy down there. And if you don't want to give that energy away, but once every two weeks, you got to get to the bottom of it. Why is it? Right. And I hate to say this about being team um, guy, but he might have to check himself, right? Why is she not... Uh, I already said that. And uh, right, yeah, you did say oh this, but it's different if it's coming from a dude, right? Because we supposed to be yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, what's going on? You, you got to invest into the uh, female. You got to ingest or, or uh, ingest. Sorry, <laughs> invest. <laughs> you got to invest into the whole situation. It just don't start then. Like I said, it starts. You know. Days before it starts the night before it starts in the morning. You you got to start. Boy, shut. You got to start working that shut, mental side of it. It's up. just not the body, right? You got to work the. But mind. how do you know he's not doing that? That's what well, I'm yeah, saying. Well, yeah, right. Okay. So yeah. he so it's is a conversation. doing that, yeah, and maybe true. it's not very true. Off. Very true. And she's still like. Well, that's well, no. that's what I'm saying, yeah. you guys. Is like, it, it it's. What I'm saying is, that's what I mean. It's like she's weaponizing it in a sense of like she knows the power that she wields and she knows the power of the pussy and she knows how bad right. the man wants it. So it's like, oh, okay, you piss me off. Well, I know exactly what to do to piss you off. You just don't get none. And that's fucked up. Right. And that's but, not fair. Yeah. That's fucked up. That's it's not, not fair, fair. But here's where the problem lies it's one thing to weaponize it a little bit. 
and uh, <laughs> withhold it. But it's another thing to do it often and to do it, you know, withhold for two weeks or so. That's insane. Maybe not, but I feel like that is insane. And that speaks to like a deeper issue, her issue or her issue. Like you should not do that. It, that is not, first of all, it, there, it, there's so many layers. It's like, there must not be proper conflict resolution skills. There must be a breakdown in communication for her to want to just be like, nope, I'm holding this. I'm sitting on this. There's, there's a problem. There is definitely a problem. What? I'm just saying that's fair. Right. I mean, and they wonder, but my thing is, is like, women know i mean we all know that like all people want affection right and want to be sexually intimate with their partner but it's shit like this is why people fucking cheat and then you bitch and complain when somebody goes and gets it somewhere else because you want to sit here and play a game with it and not realizing this ain't a game so if you're not going to put out and then this man decides to go step out and wander. And then he turns into like, oh, my God, how dare you? It's like, well, what, well, what do you mean? You know what I'm saying? You were busting it open uh -uh. twice a month. And when I. Uh-uh. You know, but, but I'm saying, oh, this is why people cheat, though. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is why people step out. Cheating is an absolute choice. Nobody forces you to cheat. I don't care if she only has sex with him once every six months. It is, an, it is a hands-down choice to step out. It is not her fault. Do not ever blame. It's your, you made me cheat. That's like when you used to get your ass kicked and your mom would say, you made me do it. No, you just have no fucking self-control. That's what happened. Um, so... Uh uh, it's a choice, and he I needs will to say, say something. This. Say something. I think that he you has, are driving Jess. a wedge in our relationship, and this is it is really bothering me, and it is really affecting. It's affecting us, whether you want to realize it or not. Maybe she doesn't know that this is like life or death for him at this point. But um, we're saying, what if? he does do all those things. He talks to her. He, he tells her, okay, this is not cool for me. I'm struggling. And she continues and she's not that it's an excuse, but you're creating an environment to where your partner is not satisfied. That's it. And it's supposed to be a job. Maybe what, she no? ain't satisfied no. anymore. Okay. Well, you then, never know. Some people might withhold sides. it because they don't even want to have sex. Well, Maybe then say she's that done. Then. And then they, and then they can set up a situation. There's the, there's the dark side of withholding. Right. Because I don't even want to have sex with you. And it's, I'm just doing it just because. Well, if that's the case, like you said, the communication, if they want to be adults about it and they want to be honest instead of just being shitty about Some it. Some people aren't adults. And sitting on it, be like, okay, I'm not feeling you. We need to do something different or the. I just withhold it. New age people, they bring other people in or they let people wander and We're do things. We're going to a We're not even going to a whole other thing. So if, maybe he should open up the floor. No, they, not he, they. If she's unsatisfied with him and she doesn't want to give it to him, then maybe it's a they thing and they talk through it. Yeah, we're together, but we're experimenting a little and bit. And here's why that's not far-fetched because this is Las Vegas and there's a lot of that shit going exactly. on down here. Please, this is Seattle, and I'm pretty sure that oh, yeah. hey, this shit is that's why I said it. up here, I think too. it's going oh, yeah. on everywhere, so it's not um, a thing that's publicized or that's talked about a ton, but well, then start a whole bunch of the conversation. All he has to do is feel it out. Like, what? Do we, do we need to take it to the next level? Do we need to, you know, possibly open up the door to invite people in or, you know... I think open. the woman, I, I, I think the woman would be like, no, let's not do it and then go and do it on our own. But that's just 
Maybe. Well then, I mean, well that's the when you leave, dark. and or or just bust it open more. I I don't. If that's not what you want, then choices, decisions, the consequences. I'm gonna get a shirt. I have yep. a question, that. Jess, um, because this, that kind of what you just said kind of goes back to um, the first point of what he said. Like, how do I bring it up to to her without her um, making it yep. seem like he's crazy? Because I, what it sounds like is and i and i know both of them and she is i feel like was the type to be like well you're tripping and then twist it around and make it seem like he's tripping and he's crazy and he's bugging mm. oh nigga you're tripping the and manipulation walk, downplay the fuck out of it and then walk away but you can't say he's tripping if they were doing it more frequently and then she just starts with i'm not tripping that's facts I mean, all that can be true and it'll be right, but when you are withholding something because you didn't get your way in an argument, or you, I don't know, or you fit, or you were wrong in an argument and you want to grab your ball and storm off, like that doesn't give you a reason to. Well, I'm just not going to be affectionate and have sex with my man because fuck him. Like I don't know. Like that's just you can't weaponize. Yes, it does. That. Like why are you yeah, even you married then? Why are you married then? Like, what's the point of being married then? If 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 you're gonna I, sit here and withhold sex from your partner because you're in your feelings, like what? Maybe that's the only but control that she has. Is that that still don't make it right though? It doesn't make it. I don't think it makes it wrong. It doesn't make it wrong if she's genuinely upset, right? If she's upset, and she's sex, like, uh, that's no. okay. But it's more of a thing if she's trying to gain an advantage. In some way or um, or <laughs> yeah, you didn't you didn't um, take the garbage out or I think that we should have took this trip and we didn't go. So I'm not going to have sex with you type of thing is not cool. But if there's a, a disagreement and you're not feeling the way people have emotion, so you don't want to have sex, that's cool. And then it's up to the dude to come back and clean that up. And I don't think there's wrong with anything wrong with being sexually petty occasionally. I just don't think so. Oh, you didn't oh, buy me this have... purse, so I'm not gonna have sex with you. Like what? So now what? So now yeah. what? Your marriage is turned into a business transaction? Every prostitution. Time, yeah, it turns into prostitution. At a certain Every level. time you have sex with your partner, you gotta fucking pay him off. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe. I left your cash on the dresser. Yeah, shit. Yes, yeah, there is. Hey. So I guess maybe after a while it could be like that. Like, hey, this could is transactional. Be. I need put my cash up here, put it, my purse up here. And then what if it's the other way around? I'm not doing anything for you unless you sleep with me. Well, then either you cave or oh you say who can go the longest. Yeah. We will win. And, and then you're definitely we stepping out, win. though. If that's the game, and that's why that's a slippery slope. And I'll that's play a, the game. A nasty game to I'll play. I'll play the game. That's a shitty I'll game win. to that's play. That's how you get... I'm telling you, that's nasty how people get play. cheated on, bro. Like, that's how people get cheated on in a heartbeat. I'm I'm just not gonna... Yeah, nah, that's a shitty well, game. Well, if you a play the game, game, that's the risk you're willing to take. Well, if you play the game... You know the risks. If you're playing that game, Still you dirty. have to know. Still dirty. It is dirty. Where's the compromise and where's the humbleness in the relationship to... Um, there is no compromise. This is my body. Vulnerable. But just... Well, I'm talking about the transactional piece about who can uh, kind of wait each other out type thing, right? There is no compromise. May the best man win. All right. You took on my last name. You are property of mine. I own you. Okay. <laughs> I am not of Marcus. <laughs> of Marcus. You are of I am yes. Seth. You are of I am the, not. You signed a contract. Remember that so that contract you signed with your witnesses and that mm. uh, that legal officiant. You are now property of True Font. <laughs> uh, right, and that contract signed. You will now wait. For as long as it takes, because it is for better, for worse, and sickness and health, vag or no vag. 
But I, I don't yep. know, man. Like, <sighs> Marcus, let's mm-hmm. say Jess started doing that to you. How right. would you approach it? Let's play some role uh-huh. playing here. You, you, Jessica. Kel, hey. he cries. We know we've been over this. This man cries over not that long. So I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what he'd do. I don't know. I can't imagine. Yeah, so be careful. And that's a threat. <laughs> so what I would say, Kel, is you got to know your person, right? Let's, so let's not act like we don't know, we don't understand your husband's thirsty or has a high sex drive, whatever, whatever. And you as the lady want to act like it's not like that or whatever, whatever. And you're uncomfortable. And I'm not stupid. I understand things happen, but we act like men are irrelevant and we don't have feelings and we don't matter and nothing that we do or say matters in a relationship especially once you get married and once you start playing that game again you are pushing men further and further in the darkness by themselves right by playing this game of oh you just got to sit down and wait in the corner and you wait till i ring a bell and now it's your turn type shit that's that's Mm -hmm. not if that is the only thing that you that like keeps it like doesn't tied, have to be the only that's thing. Fucking weird. But it could compound. It's, there's other things going on in the relationship that men don't like, right? It starts to add up. And sex is big for men. So when you throw that on top of it, you get this explosion of, okay, um, I'm going to leave for a couple of days. I'm going on a golf trip. I'll be back. Right? But you're really going to. Uh, to get some relief, to get some affection, to Choice. get some time that Choice. you're not getting at home. Choice. The environment has been set. And we've had these conversations. I've talked to my wife. I've talked to my girl. I've told her she don't want to hear me. So I'm only human. And eventually it could be six months. It could be five years. But you have pushed me to the limit, <laughs> to the edge and again I, is i i believe you're speaking from experience I'm not, here no, no. i believe what a cry baby i'm putting something on it now but i'm saying don't set the table like that let's let's work together let's be a team don't push me just because you can and think that's cool i don't think that's fair and it shouldn't be done that way on either side it's men that shouldn't do certain things to women just because they can um oh, you know please Men are the breadwinners in a lot of situations and they withhold. And it is kind of like a transactional thing. I don't believe in that either. They withhold what? The money and you can't leave the house. You can't do this. I'm shutting off the credit card. I'm doing all this type of stuff, right? Well, that's not player. That's not player. To me, it shouldn't be like that. Please, you withhold that. Well, we're definitely going to be in a standoff. (laughs) Right. But Yeah. It's a showdown. Just hope that you got somebody that's willing to work with you. Right. Right. And that is not. Oh, man. Willing to have a standoff. And he's having his own therapy session. Put the gun to your head and be like, ah, I'll do it. I'll do it. So, yes. I I feel like some of these conversations that we have, if there's any like unmarried people that are listening or watching are just like, yo, fuck marriage. I, am not I never want to do that shit. Right? <laughs> like how these motherfuckers talk about this shit. I ain't doing this. I know. It sounds like life, sex, everything is over. Once no, I get no, 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 no. Well, I mean, if we're going to be honest, I'm uh, talking and I'm kind of just setting the table, like the worst case scenarios. But when you are, in a marriage, it's a give and take, man. And that's what I'm trying to say. It's not about who wins all the time. And you got to give up yourself and you got to be about your person. You got to be about your partner. Yeah, you're, you're still that. Or you're still you, but you're supposed to be as one. You're supposed to be equally yoked. And you know what I'm saying? That's you're supposed you're to come supposed together. supposed to be. I know. And it's not like that all the time. Nothing is perfect, but you're supposed to be able to work on these things. Talk through these things, right? Yeah. And that's it's, all I'm trying to say. It's strange to me because as a guy, 
you know, your whole life growing up, you know, you have your mom tell you what to do, and then you finally get out the house, and you're like, ah, I don't got my mama telling me what to do no more. Then just to get married, and it's this or that, like, all over again. And then you marry your mom, pretty much. Yeah. And it's, pretty much it's is that what. that all over again, where it's like, oh, my God, like, I'm paying these bills. We have this life, and I still got to ask for permission to do shit. I damn near got to ask permission to have sex with my woman, because if I don't do something she don't like, she ain't going to give me the poon. Well, Hopefully, it's not like that for a not. lot of couples. It's unfortunate that it's like that for your friend. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Ain't my life, but he was kind of laughing about it. But at the same time, I could tell the nigga was serious. <laughs> right, I'm <laughs> like, I don't like, think it's, he he's probably really it. hurting. He's probably <laughs> hurting inside, like, probably exactly. literally, like, exactly. backed up and shit. And well... Yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate. My advice would be get to make sure he's in the clear. Might happen. Overdo it and see what happens. And I say overdo it. Really put the charm on. Really try to go in and be the person that your wife uh, fell in love with allegedly. And just come with it and see what she does. If she continues and is playing the game, um, some deeper conversations need to happen. Or you just really need to see what's going on and see where she's at. Just like Jess said, she really could have something going on, right? Mm -hmm. And be in in the uh, off season. It's an off season. Yeah, just be in another place, be in another place. Headspace, but we got to get over. to the bottom of it. <laughs> but to continue to go back and forth and playing the game is not cool. Right. And Jess, your advice, I assume, is is man up. Stop being a little bitch, right? Well, that's part of it. Stop crying and men shouldn't have feelings and we shouldn't say shit, right? No, you should have feelings, but your feelings shouldn't show just because of <laughs> When should they show? All the time. If I'm only getting your feelings because you're crying because of a lack of that, is there anything like, is there something deep? Like, is, is that all there is to you? My God, well, I don't get it. it's attached to a lot of things, though, for men. Oh, man. It's still part it's of different. a relationship. You need that. Yeah, That's it's different. I would say, t- I would go with Marcus. I would say talk, have a serious conversation. And if she's like, oh, da 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 be like, no, really. And then maybe ask her, is everything okay with you? Like, can I, what can I do? Can I help? You know, all those kinds of things. That might loosen up the uh, (laughs) chastity belt (laughs) a little bit or whatever belt. Um, So there is ways to approach it. And it's not to go out and cheat. That's stupid. No one um, said just for him to go out and cheat. We just said this is how people cheat. Like this is why people. Oh, cheat. Oh, and you said it. Yeah, said, this she's is why setting people the table. Step out. She's setting the environment. And 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 to be honest, a he situation like cheat. this, you got to see if your girl is cheating. Mm. If she's not interested and her mind is somewhere else, and mm. she's just a two through with you, mm. that's, again, uh, that's so, that's part of it. Maybe she mm. is done. That's what you I'm saying. Don't ever know, and she's just stay. Do they have kids? Yes. Okay, she's she could be staying for the kids. She's probably trying to wait for little uh, Jimmy to go off to high school or college. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well, I couldn't think of it, and then she's out of there. And so, you know, she's just maintaining. Foul. It, it is. Foul. Yeah, that's okay, though, right? Because she's unhappy, right? <laughs> yep. The double standard. The double standard. It continues. I mean, Oof. it is, what it, it, is. is what it is, though. But So that's what I'm saying. If they both want to play that game, and that's why I said my advice is to go in, do everything you could do. That way you're in the clear and you're done. Okay. Bank. I've tried my best. I'm not begging, but I'm just creating this environment to try to make you feel as good as I can, right? To to make you feel comfortable. And if nothing is working... That's a form of begging. Something... Psych, I'm kidding. <laughs> something is going on. 
So, you know, it could be the neighbor that this one lady found attractive a couple of shows ago that they came together and now she's mentally over at the neighbor's house, right? Not physically yet, but she's mentally there. So her husband. I wonder if they're in a really relationship now or did what, the husband really shows take her advice and like befriend the neighbor himself. Right. And now they're going to play golf together. You got to keep trying though. You got to keep trying is what I'm saying. And then when it's, it's done, it's done. When it's done, it's done. Oh man, those poor people, they were sharing a wall. I just hope his, his old lady ain't getting banged out. By the neighbor. She might be. Man, it happens. It's just not the men. And by like the neighbor, or like last week, maybe her husband just isn't um conveniently attractive. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she gets all the attention in the relationship, right? Damn. Yep. Well, mm-hmm. I think we gave some pretty good useless advice. What do you guys think? <laughs> That's pretty good. Yes. I think we're good, man. And I think we came to a point, man, it's... Look, you're trying to really, like, really think that we really, like, gave some great advice. We did. I gave some damn good advice. I don't know about y'all, but my advice, (laughs) my word is always on point. So, yeah. It's weird. I speak from the heart. All right. Truly unruly, y'all. Marcus Trufant, Jessica Trufant. My name is Kel. Remember, follow the page, truly unruly underscore podcast on Instagram, and follow these guys, Jessica Trufant and Marcus Trufant. And of course, uh, if you want to send us any of your questions, if you want us to give you some of our very, very insightful advice, um, right. you can email us at truly unruly podcast at gmail.com. And you can listen to us on your favorite podcasting platform. Remember to like, subscribe, help leave a review and you can catch the visual on youtube just search truly unruly and catch us every sunday on converge i think that's it cool Mm -hmm. all right y'all till next time peace and much love